we are so honored to be a part of uh, this change, indeed this revolution. And it's so important to us to shine a light on the issues that need to be illuminated and uh, finally have people say things like, you know, I know a little bit more and I can relate to this and this family is a lot like mine. And it moves us deeply to know that shows like Transparent and voices like Jenny's are helping families all across America ask questions and have complex conversations. Tonight, Jeffrey and I stand here as proud allies of the LGBTQ community. It is such an honor to be connected to this pivotal moment in history, and it is a great privilege to be a part of the entertainment industry these days, as that there, there are so many shows that are outside the box telling stories that have never been told before. While, while we share those stories in the context of a fictional family, the nominees for Outstanding TV Journalism segment are making the same impact on real world lives. And the GLAAD Media Award goes to Fired for Being Gay, MSNBC Live. Wow. Uh, first of all, just a, a huge thank you to MSNBC, uh, a, a network that really goes above and beyond when it comes to telling the stories of, of folks who are marginalized. Um, in, in this country and around the world. A big thanks to David Ingram, the producer from MSNBC, who really worked on the segment. In April of last year, uh, we learned of, of, of Crystal Moore's story, uh, the police chief in Latta, South Carolina. And for those of you who do not know where Latta is, it's eastern South Carolina. It's a bustling metropolis. We're talking about 2,000 people. And, and, and the, story, the story resonated with me because I'm, I'm seventh generation South Carolinian. Uh, Chief Moore had, had been an, an officer for two decades. She'd had an unblemished record. And, and again, as you saw there, she was fired because she was gay. What you did not hear was the, the sound bite that we played from the mayor. Uh, and he said in part, quote, I would much rather have somebody who drank too much taking care of my children than I had somebody whose lifestyle is questionable around children. I'm not going to let two women stand up there and hold hands and let my child be aware of it. Crystal came on the show, albeit very reluctantly. It took several phone calls. So did the mayor, mind you. The town and others rallied around their chief. City council took away much of that mayor's power, and she was unanimously restored to her post two months later. We're, we're proud of the journalism at MSNBC because it shows how in-depth original reporting um, can lift the curtain and affect change, even in small town South Carolina. But I am proud of Chief, Chief Crystal Moore, who through sharing her story made it possible. Chief. Wow. This is such an honor. I never would have imagined when I was first fired last year for who I love that it would lead to this. There are so many people who deserve my gratitude for their help in making this battle over sexual orientation discrimination. I would like to thank Craig Melvin, the MSNBC, for their coverage of my story. Glad for the awareness that they bring to the issues of the LGBT community. The Latta Town Council who fought with me every step of the way. My friends and family who supported me the whole time. With everything, whether if it, whether if it was financially or just a word of encouragement that kept me going through those days. 
but mostly I want to thank the people of my town. White, black, gay, straight, everyone. <laughs> I actually had people that I had locked up come to the town hall and defend me. So that was amazing. <laughs> they stood through thick and thin and backed me the whole time. So the town of Latta has created a new normal. Southerners that are proud to love and respect all people. I am excited to see where GLAD is going with the Southern Stories program. And again, thank you for the honor.